So today we're gonna do a workout with wine. You can substitute a weight if you have hand weights at home, anything like one to three pounds. You could also use a water bottle or can of food. I know a lot of people don't have weights at home, so this is a nice way to incorporate that. All right, let's keep squatting. <laughs> let's go three more. Two and one. And then drop your arms to the floor as you squat and as you stand, sweep them up overhead. Exhale, little bounce at the bottom. Inhale, stand tall. Again, exhale, drop and bounce. Inhale, up tall. Sweeping arms up overhead. Keep your arms externally rotated so when they're up overhead, your palms are facing in towards each other. Let's do three more. And two. And one. Stand up tall, arms up overhead. Grab your right wrist and stretch up and over to your left. And then come back to center. Grab your left wrist, stretch up and over to the right side. Oh, Vicki, I totally should have invited you, but my friend and her sister taught a um, come back up to center, walk your legs in, drop your arms down. Um, they taught a wine yoga class yesterday, like with a glass of wine. So you're drinking as you did it. They ended up going through almost two bottles between the two of them during class. I know it's a dude if I wasn't on this white carpet we would be doing it maybe next week I'll, I'll teach from the floor over there and we'll, we'll have wine as we do all right so let's warm up feet a little more with a little standing running in place you're going to lift one heel up lift both heels and switch lift and switch and you want to work through your calves the soles and arches of your feet trying to move your body directly up and not forward And pelvis stable. Try not to do the hula or do the twist with your hips. Let's go four. I have the biggest issue with that stupid window in my door. Oh yeah, the light coming in. Oh, it bothers me. I, I like to obsess over it every single time. <laughs> Unless I like have my camera off, Celia. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, I don't know what to, you know, like, what do I do? Put a curtain there or something? <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I know. That's like why I'm rolling around on this white carpet. It's like one of the only rooms where there's like sunlight. It's not the best. Um, and there's enough space to move around. Oh, God, it's so perfect. It looks so nice. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice little space. Oh, the Wi-Fi too. The Wi-Fi is strongest here. Um, let's lift both heels and lower both heels. I did like speed checks throughout the entire property, really, <laughs> to see yeah, where I, I could teach from. Well, luckily, my Wi-Fi is downstairs because, you know, I'm teaching from downstairs, so at least oh, I'm yeah. close to it. Because it's not That's like good. a big place, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's perfect. Three more. Two. And one. Drop the heels down. Walk your feet back out wider than your shoulders. Have your legs parallel so your knees and toes are looking right ahead. Then you're going to lunge into your left leg, stand tall in the center, lunge into the right leg, stand tall in the center. Left leg, center, and center. Left, center, right, center. Let's do one more each way. Left, all the way up, right, all the way up. Let's walk feet in. I'm just moving this guy out of the way. <laughs> and then we'll do similar movement, just staying in the same place. So you're going to lunge into your right leg, straighten the left leg out to the side, stand tall in the center, and then switch. Hi, welcome. I can't see from the, the uh, screen this far who just hopped in, but hi. <laughs> so you'll step out to the side and center. Out to the side, center. Let's do three more each way. You're going to do two more. Oh, it's Heather. Hi and do one more. Okay, I kind of lost track of what I was doing. That's all right. All right, now we're gonna step out to the side as we do that. So step left, lunge into your left leg, stand in the center, lunge right, stepping into your right leg, and center. Stand tall in the center. So you're pushing through your bent leg, through your heel, using your glutes, your glutes. There's more than one of them. Step. And center, let's do one more each way. And step and center. Stand up tall here. And as you inhale, sweep both arms up overhead. 
grab a hold of your right wrist. And again, you're gonna stretch up and over to the left side. Option across your leg over. Letting your hips fling out to the side, getting a little longer stretch. And then come back up to center. Uncross your legs, grab the left wrist, stretch up and over right. And then cross the leg over if you did it on the other side. I could stay here all day. Oh, that feels great. Come back up to center. Wiggle it all out, loosen it all up. Oh, it's warm. It's really warm here today. So yes. we're going to do a little, yeah, it's like so warm. Is it warm for already. you, Celia, through the tunnel? Yeah, it's pretty warm to here today. I'm going to turn the fan on, so I'm going to put my. All right. So you're, I don't know if you, so you, all the people are in the middle, is that this is my screen or is that your screen? Are you talking, are you asking me? Yeah, let me see if I can move them. Oh, like you, you're seeing everybody? I'm seeing, yeah, but I'm just seeing it in the middle, like where you're covered. So I, I could. You're just going to click pin, um, yeah. click on the three little, yeah, you got it. Yeah, I got it. Awesome. Hi, Diana. Yay. My cousin's mm -hmm. on. Um, okay. Oh, wait stuff. Wine Is stuff, my right? audio off? Is my audio off? I can hear you. Oh, you I you? don't want that. Okay, I'll mute you. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a little stuff with the wine model for arms. Um, I just do this series. You guys can do it standing. I just do it kneeling because I don't want to drop the bottle and break it. So it has less um, distance <laughs> to move to, to drop. Um, you guys can also do it standing. So if you're kneeling, you want to have space to have your arm straight down by your side, bottle in hand. Make sure you got a firm grip. Hopefully nobody has any oil or really slick lotion on their hands. And then you'll keep your arms straight. You're going to lift to the side and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. Keep your arm angled just a little bit in front of your body so it's not right in line with your torso. Lift and down. Lift and down. Let's go three two, and one. And then flip your arm so your palm is facing outward. Your arm is externally rotated and then you're gonna lift it overhead and then lower it down. Lift it overhead and lower. Again, you'll lift and lower. And as you do these, try to keep the rest of your body as still as you can so that you're not like leaning or letting your body fall out like that. Three, let's do two more. Let's do one more. Whew, I felt those. Surprisingly, a weight, weight, a weight, wine weighs a lot when you do a lot of repetitions. All right, so arms straight by your side. Let's do some bicep curls. Keep your elbow still and you're just going to curl and uncurl. Curl and uncurl. Wine bottles, I think they weigh at like 2.6 pounds, something like that. Yeah, it's definitely a little more than my two pounder. Yeah, it is. Like sure. I know, I know when you're using like this, the light weights that just that little different, that 0.6 pounds feels a lot different. Oh, the difference Go. between a two and a three is huge. I know. Let's do one more. Um, oh no, I'm, I'm leaving something out. All right. Overhand grip. You're going to bring your bottle straight in front of you and lower. I might play with my grip a little bit so that it doesn't hit my leg. And again, same thing here. You're trying not to move your body. Try not to lift or use any momentum. Let's go five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down, triceps. Let's come into a little split stance like this. Have, um, stay on the same arm, just have your opposite leg forward, so you're in this little lunge position. And then you'll hinge forward, but support your weight from your core, not by putting your elbow, don't put your elbow on your thigh. Elbow, your other elbow is right back by your side, and then just straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. 
And again, you want to try to keep your elbow as still as you can. So that your upper arm bone is not moving forward or backward, side to side. We've got four, three, two, and one. All right, let's switch arms. All right, solid grip on your bottle, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Again, trying to keep the rest of your body as stable as you can. And your arm is angled slightly in front of your torso. I need these so much on this arm. They're hard, but I need them. Let's go four, three, two, one. Drop it down, flip your palm to face upward now or towards the, away from your body, and then you'll lift it upward overhead, and then lower. Lift it up overhead, and lower. Man, I'm really starting to feel this weight, like already. Already. Ugh. Be mindful about oof, what your head is doing. Sometimes we want to use it like a counterweight. God, it's so hard on this side for me. Sorry, I'm complaining. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Oh. Right? Two. Why is it harder? I don't know. It's so hard. <laughs> uh, at least it's not just me. All right. Bicep curls. Again, trying to keep your elbow as stable as you can. Oh. I don't really have much else to say about this. Just keep the elbow still. <laughs> Just keep going. <laughs> We're gonna do four more. <laughs> and three, two, and one. Drop it down. Arm straight ahead and lower. Straight ahead and lower. Again, you're trying to keep the rest of your body as still as you can. And I really should remind myself that that includes my eyebrows. They're not gonna help me. I don't need to make more wrinkles as I do Pilates. <laughs> uh. Just because it's hard doesn't mean I have to have a suffering face on and give myself 11. Uh, let's do four more. And three, ooh, two, one more. Oh my gosh. Oh, triceps. Turn to the side. Stay on your same hand, same wine, wine hand. Have your opposite knee forward. Hinge forward a lot at your waist. And again, you're going to try not to put your elbow on your thigh, bring your elbow back by your side, and then you'll bend and straighten here. Again, your core is supporting your weight here. Try not to swing your arm around, just the bottle, but you're doing it carefully. Let's do four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right, set it down and let's give your arms a little roll out. Uh, uh. All right, quick little water break. Let's take a seated mermaid stretch. So let's sit with your left leg in front, tucked in front like that, right leg swung out to the side. If that's not a comfortable way to sit, you can also just sit cross-legged or with your legs out, just basically a comfortable seated position. And then you'll set your bottle right next to you. Place your hand on the bottle. Open your other arm out to the side. And as you inhale, slide over the bottle and bend towards it. And as you exhale, come back up. Again, inhale, slide over and bend. And exhale, back up. Again, inhale and exhale. Try not to dump all of your weight onto your bottle. Let's do two more. One more, you're gonna hold it and then rotate towards your bottle, set both hands on the bottle. Keep your spine long, press the bottle out or roll it out. And then keep your spine long, pull it in, lift your chest. Let's do it again. Roll it out, get long. 
and then pull it in, lift your chest. One more time, roll it out and pull it in, lift the chest, untwist, take your top arm off and then sit all the way up. Let's do the other side. All right, so bottle underneath your palm, open your other arm up with the palm up to the sky. And as you inhale, slide bend towards your bottle and exhale, come back up. Again, inhale, slide and bend and exhale, back up. Inhale, stretch, exhale, up. And again, you're trying not to let all of your weight dump into your wine bottle. And you're supporting your core. Let's do one more. Inhale to bend, exhale, rotate towards the bottle, set both hands on the bottle, and then slide it out, get it really long in your spine. On your next inhale, oh, pull the bottle in, lift your chest. Exhale, reach it out, lower down. Again, inhale, pull the bottle in, lift the chest. And exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, pull it in, lift the chest, long spine. Exhale, lower, hold it there. Take your top arm off as you untwist and then sit all the way upright. All right, let's swing your legs out ahead of you. Have your knees bent, feet flat, and your bottle close by. You'll sit up tall, reach your arms straight out ahead. We're going to do a little half roll downs, a little breath in and exhale, roll back just as far as your legs stay still. Little breath in, exhale, scoop the belly in, roll and sit back up tall. Again, exhale, scoop the tummy and roll back. Little breath in, exhale, roll up and sit up tall. One more. Exhale, scoop the tummy in, roll back. Little breath in and exhale, roll and sit up tall. Grab your bottle. Doesn't matter what hand it's in. Just bring it out ahead of you. You're gonna have it in one hand and we'll do the same thing. It just feels a little weird when we have this asymmetric weight. It's good for our obliques. All right, little breath in and exhale, scoop the tummy in, roll back. Little breath in there and exhale, roll, sit back up tall. Again, exhale, tummy in, roll back. Little sip of air and exhale round and sit up tall. One more time, exhale, roll back. Hold it there, open your bottle to the side, bring it back in front of you. Open to the side, nothing else moves, bring it back in front of you. Two more, oh, one more, roll up and sit up tall. All right, let's switch sides. Arms out ahead. Breath in, exhale, scoop the tummy in, roll back. Little breath in, exhale, round, sitting back up tall. Again, exhale, roll back. Little slip of air, exhale, roll back up tall. One more time, exhale, roll back. Hold it there, nothing else moves. Open your bottle to the side and in. Open to the side, back in front. Two more. One more. Roll it up and back up tall. Whew. Those are kind of killer. All right, bottle in both hands. You can do an underhand grip like that. Have your bottle out ahead of you. Little breath in. Exhale, scoop the tummy in and roll back. You're going to hold it there. Lift and lower your arms for four. Don't move your roll down. Don't move your spine. Two, one, hold your bottle up, roll, and sit up tall. Let's try to roll all the way onto our back, holding the bottle like this. Little breath in, exhale, scoop the tummy in, rolling back. Roll, roll, roll carefully, one vertebrae at a time. Whew. Once you're down, set your bottle down close by and walk your feet in so that they're hip joint distance apart. Feet are about underneath your knees. Checking the time. All right, let's do a little pelvic press or bridge. So let's keep our neutral spine. We'll just do a hinging bridge. So as you exhale, press through your feet, push your hips up to the ceiling and inhale, lower back down. Keep doing that and as you do that, just keep your gaze straight at the ceiling in line with your eyes. 
without turning your head side to side. Push through the heels, driving your spinning bones to the sky, and then controlling them to the floor. Let's do two more. One more, hold your bridge up here. Let's do a little uh, single leg work. So shift your weight into your left leg, reach the right leg to the ceiling, keeping it straight, lower the right leg down, lift it up, lower, lift. Two more, lower, lift, one more, lift. Set your foot down, shift your weight into the right side, other side, left leg to the ceiling, keep it straight, drop, lift, drop, lift. Two more, drop, lift, one more, drop, lift. Set your foot down, hinge out of your bridge. Oh, you can give your knees a little hug in the chest. Let's grab your bottle. We're gonna be passing it side to side like this. So do that carefully. <laughs> All right, so arms up over your shoulders. Again, be careful, don't drop your wine on your face, please, or wait. <laughs> Take a breath in, exhale, press through the heels, hinge the hips up into your bridge. Hold it there, keep your bottle in one arm, drop that arm open towards a T-shape, and then bring it back up, carefully switch hands. Open the other arm into a T-shape and bring it up. And as you do these, again, you're gonna try to keep the rest of your body as stable as you can, so that you are not letting your knees sway, or your hips sway, alternating. One more each way. And then hinge down. Whew. Set that bottle off to the side. Take a little hamstring stretch. So reach one leg straight to the ceiling. Make sure your knee is really straight and you're driving your heel away from your sitting bone as you do this. Oh. All right, let's switch sides. Other leg up. Firm the front of your thigh. So your quads are actively extending your knee. <laughs> Drive your heel away from the sitting bone. Oof. Maybe grabbing behind your calf or your thigh. If things are feeling a little tighter, go for the thigh. Whew, it's a big stretch. All right, set your leg down, grab your bottle, and open your, um, let's have your, <clears throat> you're gonna be twisting from your back to face the um, screen. So open your screen side arm into a T-shape so your palm is up to the ceiling, and then reach that same leg straight out. You'll have your other knee bent and the wine bottle in your other hand. Reach the bottle to the ceiling, right over your shoulder, and then you're gonna roll all the way on to your side. Keep the bottle right up to the ceiling. So it's right over your shoulder. And then you're gonna untwist, roll on your back. Do it again. You're gonna twist, pushing through your foot a little bit to help you. And then untwist and come back. You can play with this, making it a little bit harder by using this back leg less. Just trying to twist oh, from your core on your own. You can also try leg straight. It starts to get like a little awkward for me with my legs straight. I'm like, how do I start this? It's a lot of core work. So just think of moving from your core first. I'm happy to report oof, these have gotten easier since the last time I did them. That's, how, that's good. Let's do two more. And on your back again, one more. And then lay on your back. Oof. Carefully switch sides. If you guys need to turn around as I'm doing so you can see the screen, you can do that. And <clears throat> front arm and leg are straight. Your arm is out to your side with the palm up. Reach the bottle to the sky right up over your shoulder. And you're gonna roll onto your side and then untwist, roll on your back. Again, roll to your side and untwist, 
lay on your back. And again, you can play with how much you use your top leg to push. Oh, I can't so much on this side. Oh, twisting from the core. It helps if you look where you're trying to go when you're twisting. So you look, oh, and you untwist. Yeah, these have gotten a little easier. They're still pretty brutal. A little awkward. I'd say the first time you're just figuring out, like, what am I even doing here? Like, how do I do this? Am I going to be so and then sore? It gets <laughs> when you guys finish that last one, you can lay on your back. <sighs> I know I woke up so sore this morning. I taught three classes yesterday. And then I had just like danced all night with some friends, not all night, but like we just had like a Zoom dance party. <laughs> I woke up so sore, like dang. It was good though, it was good. All right, grab your bottle, legs to tabletop, reach the bottle right up over your shoulders. That same little pass that we were doing in our bridge, we're gonna do it in a curl here. So take a breath in, exhale, curl. Hold your curl. As you inhale, open one arm towards the T-shape, dropping your bottle towards the floor. Don't drop it on the floor. Bring it up and switch. Open your bottle to the other side and switch. Open, switch. Open and switch. And you already know the name of the game. We're trying to keep everything else as stable as we can. One more each way. Last one. Whew, lower down. Those are tough, man. Tough, tough, tough. All right, legs back to tabletop. Wine bottle in one hand. Bring your other hand behind your head. As you exhale, curl up. Hold your curl. Reach your bottle back towards overhead. Bring it back. Reach it behind you. Bring it back. Three more. Two more. One more. Whew, lower down. Let's do the other side. All right, switch hands, take a breath in, exhale, curl. Hold it there, reach your bottle back, bring it in. Reach it back, bring it in. Three, two, one. Whew, lower down, I hope you were breathing through that. I might've been holding my breath. It's hard to talk and breathe and do ab exercises. It's a, little, it's a little much, but it's good. All right, I need a little water, water break. It's hot outside. You guys should have some water too. Let's stay hydrated together. <sighs> okay. Lay on your side. These are gonna be hard. They're good, but they're hard. You're gonna lay with your, uh, you want space to do this. Laying on your arm. And we're adding the wine bottle. It's obviously gonna make this a lot harder. And I would say, if do the, do the first one or two without the bottle actually. Um, so reach your top arm up to the ceiling. You're gonna start to lift your lower and upper half, twisting towards your lifted arm. You're gonna twist and face your legs like that. You can also have your knees bent here and then you'll untwist and lay on your side. Do it again like that, you guys keep going. Another modification here would be to twist and just pull the knees in and you can keep your feet on the floor and that's like a little gentler option. So if you feel comfortable there, grab your bottle, same thing. Lift the legs, twist towards them, bottle towards the legs and then untwist lay on your side. Lift the legs, twist towards them, and then untwist and lay on your side. Two more. Lower on your side. One more. Twist. Lift the legs. Hold it there. And then maybe you take your other arm off and you balance. Let's hold it for four, for three, for two, and one. Set your arm down. Roll under your side. Whew. All right. Let's do the other side. 
Oh man, I think my cousin might have bounced. She's like, no, nah, I don't want to do these. <laughs> uh, all right, so you're laying on your arm. Maybe you start without the bottle. I'm just going to do it to be even. So again, you'll twist towards your legs, reach towards your legs, straight legs or bent knees, and then roll back onto your side. Again, you could keep feet on the floor if this is feeling a little challenging. And if you like, you can grab your bottle and add it. We're going to do four more. Three more. Two more. One more, we're gonna hold it. Are we? We're gonna hold it. <laughs> hold it there, reach your other arm out maybe if you're feeling pretty balanced. And we'll hold for four, three, two, one. Set your arm down, lower onto your side. <sighs> Those are kind of brutal. Oh, nice job for making it through those with me. Oh, all right, just to switch it up, we're going to go back to laying on your other side. Uh, we'll do a little bit more arm work here. You could have your head on your arm like this. You could prop your head up in your hand or bend your elbow and rest your head on that situation. You're going to start with your top arm straight out. Solid grip on your bottle and then you'll lift your arm up to the ceiling and then lower it down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. So we're using the muscles in the back of our arm, the muscles behind the arm shoulder blade area. Let's go four, three, two, I know, <laughs> one. Ah! I should be muted. <laughs> no, it makes it, it makes it more fun. When it, it's small groups like these, I enjoy it. I do. I, I understand people like will be muted because, you know, they can't control their, the audio around them. Right. But it is, you know, it is nice too. All right. So we're going to do a little external rotation. So have your elbow right next to your side, but slightly in front of your hip. And you'll keep your upper arm bone stable. You're going to externally rotate and then bring your bottle back down. Externally rotate your arm and back down. You want to imagine your elbow is just spinning in a little circle. Ooh. And you'll feel the back of your armpit working. Ooh. Oh man. Ugh. These are brutal. Try not to use your wrist. I was just doing that. And you Let's can't even more. get a massage. <laughs> what? You can't even go get a massage when you're sore. I know, I know, right? Oh, that was tough. Okay, reach your bottle up to the ceiling. Hold it there, little circle, little circle, little circle, little circle. Let's go two more, one more. I think that was six, let's switch directions. Little circle, little circle. Little circle, little circle. Three, I think. Two, one. Whoo! How much is that arm burning right now? It's a lot for me. Let's do the other side. Honestly, I wanted to do this series in part because it means I get to lay down. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, let's grab it. It's my favorite way to exercise, lying down. You know, I know, I think that's why we all like Pilates, because the reformer, you know, like, I get to lay down as soon as I go to exercise. <laughs> all right, arm straight. You're going to lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Up and lower. And lower, we've got four, three, two, one, one more for the middle, and then external rotation. So elbow is next to your side, just slightly in front of your torso, and then you're going to externally rotate, and then go back to internal, external, internal. Imagine your elbow is just spinning in a little circle here.
Internal. Oof. Two more. Two more. One more. Okay, just a couple more. We're still going. All right, now let's rest. Oof. All right, grab your bottle. Reach it up to the ceiling and then a little circle, a little circle. Two more, one more. Switch directions, little circle, little circle. You're careful because you've got a glass bottle over your head. Two more, one more. Oh, set that bottle down. All right, let's sit on up. Quick water break. I mean, if we are going to be having wine after this, it is important that we hydrate. <laughs> I almost grabbed the wine. Back. You almost what? I almost grabbed the wine by accident just now to drink. Uh, <laughs> by, by accident. By accident. Oh man, my arms feel really good now. My shoulders feel really happy. Hopefully you have a similar experience. Okay, let's start in tabletop. Have your bottle right underneath your chest, like right in the middle. And let's do a little cat power, cat camel here. As you inhale, start to arch your spine, stretch your sitting bones and your head to the sky. Exhale, scoop the belly in, round your back, head and tail to the floor. Again, inhale, arch, head and tail to the sky. And exhale, round, scoop the belly in. Inhale to arch, exhale to round. Inhale, arch, exhale, round. Three more. Two more. One more. And then come back to your neutral spine. Shift your weight a little more into your right hand. Grab the bottle with your left hand and then reach it straight out ahead of you. Bring it in and set it down. Switch sides. Grab with your right, reach it straight out ahead of you. Bring it in, set it down, and switch. Let's keep doing that alternating. Reach and in. Reach and in. Reach and in. Go back to your first side. You're going to reach. Hold it there. Open your arm out to a T and then bring it back where it came from. Open out to a T. Bring it back where it came from. Two. One more. Bring it in. Pull your elbow back by your side. Let's do more triceps. Straighten. Bend. Straighten. Bend. We're going to go four, three, two, one. Oh, set it down. Let's switch sides. Reach it straight out ahead. Switching arms. Open into a T. Bring it back in. Open into a T. Bring it in. Three, two, one. Bring your elbow in next to your side. And let's take some tricep presses. Straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. And you guys already know, you're keeping your elbows still. You're keeping the rest of your body still. Three, two, one. Set it down. Take a seat. Just take a minute to take your weight off of your wrist. Oh, a nice little adjustment in there. And then... I will be facing you guys so that you can see this. We'll do a thread the needle stretch. So you're gonna set your bottle right underneath your chest. Have the back of your hand on the bottle. And then you're gonna start to slide it under you as you rotate towards your bottle. And then you'll untwist, sliding it back to center. You could also try with your palm down if it's painful on your wrist at all, but you're trying not to put so much weight on it that you're actually putting pressure on your wrist or your forearm. And you're twisting and untwisting. Let's do two more twist and untwist and twist and untwist. And we'll switch sides. 
I don't know about you guys, but the bottle gets like a little squirrely here. I have to keep readjusting it. All right, so back of your hand on it. And again, you're gonna roll it under you as you twist towards it and then untwist, come back to center. Roll it under, twist towards it, untwist and back. Keep doing this. Ugh. And you wanna let your elbow bend close into your body as you bend your non-twisting arm. One more, sort of one more, and then come back in. <sighs> let's set the bottle off to the side okay. and let's do some um, sideline legs. Now let's just get our planking out of the way. Let's just do the planking. We'll get it out of the way. All right. So hopefully everybody's wrists are good to do planking on your hands because I want to do with some bottle. All right. So walk your hands a little wider than your shoulders and then step your legs back into a really wide plank. So feet are pretty wide here. Shift your weight into one hand, grab the bottle with your other hand, reach it out ahead of you, bring it in. Reach it ahead of you, bring it in. Do that two more times. One more time, then push it to the side, bring it in. Push it to the side, bring it in. Just two more, one more. Ooh. Set it down, walk your knees in. <sighs> Sit upright, take a little break. Those are fun. All right, let's do the other side. Walk your feet out into your plank, wide plank. Grab your bottle, reach it straight ahead, bend. Reach it straight ahead, bend. Two more, one more. Then out to the side, in. Out to the side, in. Two more, one more. Bring it in, set it down. Whew. Walk it all in. Oh man, that was tough. Really tough. <sighs> okay. I wanna do a side plank, but from our forearms because we've been doing so much work with weight on one wrist at a time, like really loading them up. So I wanna give them a little break. <sighs> Okay, <sighs> prop your elbow so it's about underneath your shoulder. Straighten your top leg out and you'll lift your hips up, walk your back leg so it's your bottom leg so it's behind your top leg. Hold it there and you're gonna reach your bottle straight to the sky. Keep your arms straight, you're gonna drop it towards the floor, lift. Drop it towards the floor, lift. Two more, lift, one more. Lift, hold it here, reach it towards overhead, bring it back up to the sky. Reach it towards overhead, back up to the sky. Two more, one more. Oh, set everything down. Let's switch sides. All right. Elbow down under your shoulder, reach your top leg straight out, have it in front, bottom leg goes behind. Reach your bottle to the sky, keep it straight, drop it down and lift, down and lift. Just two more, one more. Hold it there, reach it towards overhead, back up over your shoulder, overhead, back up over shoulder. Two more, one more, Whew, set everything down. Oh man, feeling those today. Let's give shoulders a little roll out. And a little chest stretch, maybe interlacing your fingers but behind your back. Oh. What was that? Oh, I was talking to my friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> my neighbor, she's, she's hiding stuff here. Oh, nice. Because her husband's oh. birthday is coming up, so she had to hide things. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. You're a good neighbor. <laughs> she's a good wife. <laughs> All right, from that limited information. Now let's do some sideline legs. Lay down on one side, just like the sideline arms we did, you guys can do same head stuff, right? Arm under your head, bent arm under your head, head on your palm, and then straighten your top leg all the way out. Flex your foot, make sure your hips are stacked and you're not compressing your top waist. And then you'll lift your leg, lower the leg, lift, lower, lift, 
Lower, keeping your top leg in a parallel position. Four, three, two, one. Hold it there, make a little circle here for five, four, three, two, and one. And then switch for five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Set it down. Reach both legs straight out. Externally rotate your legs so your knees and toes are looking away from each other a little bit. Let's do develop. Hey, you're going to bend your top knee to the sky, then straighten to the sky, lower your leg down. Knee up, leg up, lower the leg down. Knee up, leg up, lower it down. One more time. Knee up, leg up, lower it down. Let's switch directions. So legs straight up first, then bend your knee, then straighten it out. Leg up first, bend your knee, straighten it out. Leg up, bend and straighten one more time. Leg up, bend and straighten. <sighs> Let's stack our legs back into a tabletop position. Have your hips stacked and we'll do clamshells. So clamshell your top knee open and lower, open and lower. So you're externally rotating your leg as you lift your knee up without moving your hips. You don't want to twist your hips to the sky. Four, three, two, and one. Drop your leg down. Keep it like that. Lift the whole thing up and lower. Lift the whole thing up and lower. Like a dog at a fire hydrant. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. We've got four, three, two. Oh, it burns. And one. Woo! Oh, okay. Kick your top leg straight ahead. So you're in an L shape. Try to keep the rest of your body stacked. And then you'll lift your leg a few inches and lower. Lift a few inches, lower. Lift a few inches, lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Just four more. Three. Ooh, it burns. Two and one. Oh, I should have had my leg up higher. Ah, it's harder. <laughs> okay, last one here. Let's do some external and internal rotation. So you'll clamshell first, and then you'll do the opposite clamshell. Feet and then knees. Feet and knees. And as you do these, you're trying to, again, keep your hips stacked. You just want to think about rotating your thigh bone in the hip socket. Start, drop and feet. Knee and feet. Let's go two more each way. One more each way. Whew. Kick your top leg straight ahead in that L shape again, but this time you can relax the rest of your body. And then rotate, taking a little stretch for spine and for your hips. Whew. Let's get that other side done. <sighs> All right. Straighten the top leg out, hips and shoulders stacked. Lift your leg, lower the leg. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Without lifting that top hip, you're only lifting your leg. Lift, lower, lift, lower. We've got four, three, two, and one, and then circles, little circle, little circle, keeping the leg parallel. One more, and then switch directions for five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Straighten both legs out, externally rotating your legs, and then you'll bend your top knee to the ceiling, straighten your leg, and then lower. Bend your knee up, straighten your leg, and lower. Knee, leg, lower. One more time. Knee, leg, lower. Now let's switch. Leg, knee, and then lower. Kick it all the way up, bend, and straighten. All the way up, bend, and straighten. One more. All the way up, bend, and straighten. Bend your knees to stack. Sorry, I lost an AirPod. I think it makes some like awful scruffy noises for you guys when that happens. I apologize. All right, so legs stacked, clamshells clamshell, 
Again, you're keeping your hips stacked. You're not letting your pelvis rotate up as you lift your knee. Ooh, it burns my booty. Four, three, two, one. Lift the whole thing up, lower. Lift the whole thing up and lower. Your fire hydrants. Lift and lower. Lift, lower. We've got four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Kick your top leg straight forward in that L shape. Keep it straight, lift and lower. A little lift, a little lower. A little lift, a little lower. Lower, lift, lower. We've got three, no four, three now. Two, one. Whew. Drop it down. Bend your knees to stack again. And we've got our external and internal rotation. So knees apart, feet apart. Knees apart, feet apart. External, internal. Again, you want to think of moving your thigh bone around in the hip socket. Feeling it spin around there. Oh. Let's do three more each way. Two and one. Oh, drop it down. Kick your top leg straight ahead again in that L shape. Oh, take a twist. Man, it feels good to be done with those. Oh. Oh. All right, let's roll onto our backs. Take a figure four stretch. Whew. Flexing one foot. Um, when you do these, try to cross above your ankle, not right on your ankle joint if you can. And then you can bring your legs in towards you if you'd like a little more of a stretch. Ooh. Yeah, my glutes are gonna be sore from this tomorrow, I think. I mean, honestly, I kind of hope so. <laughs> All right, let's switch. Oh, okay, lay on your stomach, have your bottle, and you wanna have space to have your arms out ahead of you. <clears throat> uh, start with your forearms on your bottle, like so, and then rest your face in between your arms on the floor. So you're gonna lift your face, pick your gaze up, lift your chest and then slide the bottle in, pulling it towards you as you come up into a little swan. And then you'll lower it down, slide the bottle out, face plant. <laughs> Again, you'll pick up your face, pick up your gaze, pull the bottle in as you lift your chest and then lower and reach it out. Let's do that twice more. Face, gaze, bottle, and then lower everything down. One more. Face, gaze, pull the bottle in, and then lower all of that back down. Let's slide your bottle out of the way. Rest your head however it's comfortable. And just give your hips a little sway, a little wiggle side to side. Rotating the hips a little, rotating the legs a little. <sighs> you can set your hands down outside your shoulders. Press yourself up, walking your knees in. <clears throat> and just take a comfortable seated position. On your next inhale, sweep your arms up overhead and exhale, lower the arms down. Let your shoulders relax, let everything relax. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining me today.